Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, we're gonna look at three different ways to combine text from multiple cells in Excel. So this was a great question from uh, Professor YC and Mohammed on our YouTube channel. And here we have an example where we have uh, these two columns of names here, first and last name, and we want to combine those into a full name column. So we're gonna look at an example that does this. We'll also look at an example that does this here where we have last name, comma, first name. And then we'll take a look at an example where we combine three names where in some cases we have a middle name. And we're going to look at one way to do this with formulas, uh, another way to do it with formulas, and then a third way to do it with Power Query. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. We'll go over to this two names sheet here. I'll make this file available for a free download and I'll put a link to that in the description below. So here we have our column of first and last names and we're going to write a formula to combine these. And it's a very simple formula. So I'm just going to start here in cell C2. I'm going to type equals. Then I'm going to reference cell A2 right here. And to combine text or combine cells, uh, text from cells in Excel, we can use the ampersand symbol. So on most keyboards, that's gonna be Shift-7 to type in the ampersand symbol here. And then I can just select this cell here, and that's going to combine the text from both, uh, both cells. So I'll hit Enter and show the results. Now, of course, as you'll see here, we don't have a space between the names, and we want to add that space between the names. So in order to do that, we're going to edit this cell again. I'll hit F2 on the keyboard. And here, after our ampersand, we're going to add uh, a space. And we do that by uh, wrapping it in quotation marks. So I'm first going to type uh, quotation marks. I'm going to type space, then quotation marks again. And now I'm going to type another ampersand. So that's going to join the first name in A2 and then join it with the space here between the two quotation marks and then B2. We'll go ahead and hit enter. Since I'm using an Excel table here, that will uh, fill down the formula. And now you can see that we have a space between the first and last names. We can also use that technique for the last name comma first name solution. And we'll just go ahead and do that right here. So I'll type equals, I'm going to select B2. Now I'm going to type an ampersand, open the quotation marks. Now I'm going to type a comma and then a space, close the quotation marks, ampersand again, and then select cell A2. So we can put anything we want between the quotation marks, any type of text, spaces, or any characters there that will then appear uh, between the text in B2 and A2. And of course, that result is last name, comma, first name. All right, so that's our first method using a simple formula. We're now going to look at using a different type of formula with the text join function. And we'll do that on this three names sheet over here. So in this example, we have some cells uh, that have a middle name, or I should say some names have a middle name in column B here. And we want to join all this text, but of course, when there's not a middle name, we don't want to have an extra space there or anything between the first and last names. So we can use the text join function for this. This is a relatively new function or introduced in Excel 2019. And if you're on a Microsoft 365 subscription, you'll also have this uh, function. So we'll type equals text join and we'll uh, tab into that. Now text join has at least three required arguments. The first is the delimiter. And this is the character or the string that we're going to put between all of the text. So here again, we're going to use that uh, quotation space uh, quotation marks to just have the space character as the delimiter. I'm going to type a comma. And the next argument is for ignoring empty cells. So you can either set this to true or false. In this case, we want to set it to true because if we have an empty cell in our middle name here, we want to ignore that and not add an extra delimiter. So we'll set it to true. In this, this part, you can just hit the tab key on the keyboard to fill in uh, the true value. And then for the third argument, we have the text. Now this we can specify a range of cells or individual cells. In this case here, we want to combine all of these cells. So I'm just going to select A2 to C2. That'll give us this reference here. And that's all we need for this function. So we're gonna close the parentheses now, hit enter, and that will fill down our formula here. And we can see in the cases where we don't have a middle name, there is not an extra space character here. There's just one space because we ignored those empty values. We just have one space between the first and last names. 
Now you can use text join uh, for cells that aren't next to each other as well. So you could also modify this. So let's say even though you have the middle name column, you only want the first and last names here. As you can see uh, here within the arguments, you can specify multiple text arguments here uh, out at the right. So we could just specify, I'll just delete that. We could specify A2 and then we can type a comma or hold down the control key and select C2 and that's going to give us this formula here. Then when we hit enter, that's just going to combine the first and last names. So you can also use text join in this example as well if you just want to combine first and last name. All right, so finally we'll take a look at how to use Power Query for this same uh, merge or combining of cells. So I'll go over to this sheet here and we have this table and it does have uh, three names. And the first thing we'll do is go to the Data tab on the ribbon or if you're on an older version of Excel, you'll go to the Power Query tab. And then we're going to click the From Sheet or From Table or Range button, depending on which version of Excel you're on, this might say From Table or Range. We'll go ahead and click this button here. That will open up a preview of our table here in the Power Query editor. And to combine text or columns in Power Query is very simple. We're first going to select the columns that we want to combine and we'll do all three. So I'm going to select the first one here, hold down the Shift key and then select Last. That'll combine all three columns. Now we can either combine these in place and replace the existing columns with one column or we can add a new column. And I'm going to add a new column. So I'm going to go to the Add Column tab and we're going to choose Merge Columns. That's what this is called in Power Query, Merge Columns. So we'll click that button. That'll bring up this window here that's going to ask us for a separator. And in this case, we want to use the space character. So we'll just select space there. We'll give our new column a name, which will be full name. And then we can uh, click OK or hit Enter. And that's going to add our column here with the combined names. And as you can see, Power Query automatically skips the blank cells. In Power Query, these null values uh, mean blank cells. And Power Query automatically detects those, skips those, so we don't have two spaces here between the first and last name in the cases where we don't have a middle name. And we can also use this Merge Columns feature for cases where we want to do last name, comma, first name, or any other combination of these names. So I'll just quickly show that. And what we're going to do is first select the last name. We want to, because we're going to put the last name first. So I'm going to select the last name column first. Then I'm going to hold the control key and select the first name. So the order that we select these in matters uh, for the outputted results. Now again, we're going to go to the Add Column tab and go to Merge Columns. And here for our separator, uh, we want a comma, but we also want a space after that comma. So we're going to use a custom uh, separator. And right here we can type that. So I'm going to type space, I'm sorry, comma, then space. And for this, we can call this, uh, we'll call it last comma first. And we'll go ahead and hit enter or OK. And that will add our new column with last name comma first name. So as you can see, Power Query and the Merge Columns feature within Power Query can handle all sorts of scenarios here for merging or combining text. As I mentioned, we're adding columns here, but if you wanted to merge existing columns instead of adding a new column, you would go to the Transform tab and then right over here you would click Merge Columns and that would just replace both of these columns with the one new column. And then of course with Power Query, when you're done with your transformations, go Home tab, click the top half of the Close and Load button here. That's going to add a new sheet to our workbook and output the results right here. And as I always say with Power Query, we've now fully automated this process. If our data changes, if we go back over to this sheet here and we get new data at the bottom, or we change any of these names here, all we need to do is go back to the output table from Power Query, right click it and refresh. Keyboard shortcut is Alt F5. That will rerun all the steps of our query and output the new results. So if you haven't used Power Query before or you're completely new to it, I have a free training webinar going on right now called the Modern Excel Blueprint, which covers the modern Excel power tools like Power Query, Power Pivot, Power BI, even macros and VBA and pivot tables. And it will show you how to use all of these tools and combine them to automate your processes and save a ton of time with your workflows. So I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Of course, if you have any other questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.